Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, 1-0 and with my Druid deck. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's got a lot of, like, awesome creatures with choices and crazy goodness and stuff. I also have a daily quest to play a certain number of creatures that cost five or more. Let's see how far I can get along that progress. I probably should have played my Iron Bar guy earlier in that last game, been more aggressive with it, but I don't know. I think what I did was a little bit more careful. Like, I didn't want to get screwed if she did have Polymorph. Unfortunately for her, she didn't. I almost got a nose and mouth breather, which is everyone. You asked for it. I must yeah. protect the wild. Okay. I'm getting rid of the Arcane Golem because I really don't like him that much. And the Ancient of Lore, who I love. He's friggin' amazing. Not early game, though. Wrath is very good. Pine Size Summoner could accelerate me a lot if she doesn't die. But she will because I'm against a mage. That's just how it goes. On the other hand, I have a coin. You know what? Uh, I, this is a spell, so I don't think Pine Size Summoner will work on it. That's pretty annoying. I don't really want to coin out something that's just going to die. I think I'll take it a little slower. Use that coin to get out Druid of the Claw on turn 4. That, that seems like a good one. 4-6 uh, Taunt on turn 4 will be pretty good. Or, if the charge is more useful, you can do that instead, because he's kind of cool. Okay, that thing's annoying, because she's going to draw a card from it. But, I think it... Since it can trade with anything I play, I'm better off kill, killing it with Wrath and drawing a card. Or, I can kill it without using a card, Now I'll still have Wrath, because I'll only take two dam only take one damage if I shapeshift for it. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I mean, I guess if I play something that she can just ping, at least it forces her to use her Fire Blast and use that mana instead of casting creatures, but I don't know. I just killed something without using a card, and that seems pretty good. Yeah, I can kill that with Wrath, but I won't draw a card, which is unfortunate. Or I can play a Silly Monkey. So what happens is I play the monkey, she's going to attack it, and then hit it for one, and I'll finish it off. Her guy will still have one hit point, and then I can kill him with Wrath, but then I won't be able to do much else that turn. That's not mapping out very well in my favor. I could Wrath him, and then not have enough mana to do that. Yeah, I may have not done this very well. Hmm. Hmm. Because, yeah, I could play, like, I could coin and have four mana. I'm not playing Defender Vargas alone, but I could play the Pine Size Summoner and get myself a 3 2, but he'll just kill most of that stuff. Like, the, none of these choices are particularly endearing. I'm just going to drop the monkey. If she spends all that effort killing the monkey, I'm okay. Yeah, okay, so the monkey's even going to survive for now. I mean, it won't do any good, because if she does want to attack through it next turn, she'll be able to just ping it, but... That's okay. Another Druid of the Claw. Neato. Um, so now I could coin out a Druid of the Claw. If I did the charge one, I could kill that, and... My Tondra could trade with that. Uh, what to do? I don't know. I think the Druid of the Claw is he's very efficient, but if I'm coining him out, he's not quite as efficient. Like, he's efficient because of the choice, but, yeah. Uh, I don't even... Well, no, I want to trade with that, because if I don't, she can just fire blast my guy. Because what else do I do? The Nose Inventor. I can't Defender of Argus and have something else to buff with it, so that doesn't work out too well. 
Uh, I could just kill this guy with Wrath. That would leave me with two mana to cast something else, and I would still have my Tonic Creature. It would force my opponent to expend more effort in doing things. I'm maybe going to do that. Hit you. Draw a card. Stupid laggy animations. Almost messing me up. So again, yes my opponent can blow him up without spending a card and then can easily kill my mage, but that would be spending 2 out of 5 mana. That would actually potentially slow down her turn. And she's chosen to go another way, as you can see. That is fine. So it's only the first minion I play each turn that costs one less. But that's pretty good. So I can play the Argent Commander without using my coin. And, you know, <laughs> it's funny how I just don't use the coin in the Druid decks. Last game I won with it and still in my hand. But yeah, I can play the Argent Commander and kill that guy, which is pretty cool. Is there anything better I can do? I mean, I can play a Druid of the Claw, give him charge, trade with that guy. That's not as good, though. Yeah, I think it's just Argent Commander and kill that dude. Trouble. And just hit her for two. You know what? It may not seem like much, but I think I'm actually going to coin out my uh, Infiltrator. I think if she had an AoE, she would have used it. If she's going to use a Flame Strike, then that would be a waste. And an Arcane Strike would, like, she prob the Arcane Blast she probably would have used already, unless she just top decked it. Yeah, I didn't think she was going to leave that uh, summoner alone, alive for very long. That's most of your mana, now what? Okay, that's kind of annoying. Sneaky Lee Enchanter. So if I played this as a 3 2, then I could Defender of Argus, still get everything plus 1 plus 1, and they'd both be taunts. Although his taunt would only work after he reveals himself. It would be a 4 3 taunt. Eh. I could play a Druid of the Claw, give him taunt, and then he would be a. 4 6, which this thing can't take out very well. Not the greatest use of my mana, but eh. Again, this guy would come into play and kill that, but he'd kind of be meat for this thing. What to do? If I play the Druid of the Claw, she can just attack with both her guys and kill it. Or. No, no, she can't. Okay, no, I'm going to do that. He's, he's big enough. It would take both her guys and her ability to kill bear form. I'm just going to get her. Probably should have saved that coin. Whatever. Save the coins until I like, could defender of Argus something good. But that's okay. She's going to have to spend resources to get rid of this guy unless she has a polymorph flying around. What to do? What to do? Damn it. Oh well, that's one more polymorph gone. I have a lot of worse things than that that are going to come out later. Wow, uh, really? You wasted your time getting a sheep? Okay. It does prevent me from Argusing a sheep. Seven mana. You can play Iron Fur and the Argus. That doesn't work out very well. I can play the Druid of the Claw again. And the Swamp Ooze. Hmm. I can play the Stormbite Commando, kill that, and get a Swamp Ooze. 
They're a lot more fragile and easy to kill, but I think that might be worthwhile. Getting rid of that guy, he's been a pain. What? I could also just play a Druid of the Claw and then use my ability and kill that guy. Take one damage. That may actually be the best. That makes it harder to take out the Druid of the Claw. Therefore. Here, birdie, 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 birdie. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, that's not good. I don't want to see her gaining cards. Her cards are annoying me so far. Oh, uh, that's okay. The silence will screw up this guy pretty good. But what's the priority here? Hmm. This guy's stupid 5 toughness keeps messing me up. 8 mana is not quite enough for what I want. I could play him, deal 2 damage, which doesn't kill anything, and then play the Iron Fur. That's not very good. They play the Keeper of the Grove and the Defender of the Argus, which would make me a pretty good Keeper of the Grove, but it seems like a bit of a waste. I don't know. Uh, I think I might end up doing that, actually. It's, it's annoying to only Argus one thing, but I think that's the most effective re thing to do to the stuff that's in play right now. My shield for Argus! Job's done. We'll try that. You still have another Fireball, still have another Polymorph, and frankly, you can have three copies of cards in the arena if you get really lucky. So, there's a lot more cards than me. At this point, I need to draw Nourish or an Ancient of Lore. Preferably an Ancient of Lore, because then I get a creature along with my cards. Comparing, compared to Nourish, I'm spending two and getting a 5-5. Five five. Ah, damn it, that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Remember, I have no AoEs. So I got what I asked for, but it was kind of a stupid thing to ask for in hindsight. Because <laughs> I can't do that and cast much in the same turn. There's still nothing that would die to a Stormpike Dumbass Commando. What? I can trade my Defender Vargas for this guy. That's probably a good idea. I can play an Iron Fur and Nourish. I guess I'll I'll Nourish, see what I get. Probably end up just playing the Iron Fur Grizzly, which is kind of a stalling action, but I'll at least have cards. Card. 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 Oh, that's cool. I have... I have a one drop, so I can play the iron fur and something else. That's actually better than I expected. Kill you. He's got wind fury, that's not good. Not much I can do about it. I can silence him my next turn with the keeper of the grove, and that'll mess him up. In the meantime, he can do a lot of damage. I've got to watch it, because when you're against a mage, you gotta you have to assume you you have ten less health. So I'm at nine if she has a pyroblast. I wonder. It'd be really sad if I get so low that I had to use the Age of War for healing. Me. Ew. That's kinda of big and scary. Yeah, I might... Oh, crap. Yeah, I might be just really dead. Starfire only does five. It doesn't kill him. I've actually used up all my taunt, guys. God damn. Because I can, I can play him, 
and do two damage to this guy and then star fire him, but then I would still have to worry about the Farseer. Silencing him seems like the best thing, but then I'd take seven from this. I think I screwed up. I, I'm sure that I've played this badly somehow, because I have enough good turns and options. I should have been able to win this in some fashion. But it doesn't look like I've done it. Okay, I can start a fire him, and then see if I draw a card with Taunt. That's, this is my only chance to win at this point, to have a chance. And even then it might not work. I drew a card with Taunt that I can't cast. It's not as good. So I'm basically actually just dead. Boo. Yeah, I could get one, gain one armor, which would neutralize him, but then I wouldn't have anything to kill him, so it doesn't actually help. I must safeguard the Yeah, so I die. Okay, one and one. See, you gotta assume you have ten less health. Because by the time you're down to 10, it's pretty late in the game, there's a much better chance they've drawn that, especially since you did have Arcane Intellect to draw cards with and stuff. So that's not very good. I already got one strike, even though I thought my deck was pretty good. Can I run into someone who is not a mage, maybe? That'd be nice. Mage is super strong in this. Like, the Druid has got really strong cards. The mage almost doesn't need cards with the uh, the one damage ability is so strong against limited decks. It could be worse. I almost ran into the Grandmaster. I must protect the wild. Uh, this is not the best starting hand. Let's see if I can draw something cheaper. Probably not. Yep, I knew he. I knew I was going to get at least one armbar. Two would have been funnier, although horrible. And I'm going first, so I don't have a coin. On the plus side, Shaman is easy to screw up. If you're not used to playing Shaman, those overload cards can really mess with your head. They seem so cheap. Yeah, that's okay. I can live with that. I could kill it and draw a card, or I can just kill it and not spend a card. Save the wrath in case I need something better. I could wrath my Acolyte of Pain for one and actually draw two cards and still have the Acolyte of Pain alive. Alright, that's just a totem. That's not a big deal. That leaves me a nice opening to cast this guy. A, a lot of shamans do try and just not use cards early in the game, or use very few cards and just get out tons of totems. It's not a bad strategy, because it can give you something of an army. Especially when you get those ones. You got the one who can attack, and then you got the one with taunt. That's pretty friggin' flawless draws there. Uh... Okay, I think my play here, I don't know if it's the best thing, but I want to get out the Pine Size Summer, which is pretty cool. I'm going to spend Wrath in the non-card drawing way to blow up that stupid thing. Because then I can draw a card when I kill this. Sound fair? Sound fair. Go do. Lightning Storm would not be the end of the world at this point. So it's such an amazing card, and it would eat a lot of his mana next turn. If he has the uh, support lightning, that would have been really good for him. No, he's going to play a Cult Master with no creature to go along with it? That is a bad use of Cult Master. I mean, he may not have a choice. I'm not blaming him, but that's not very good, really. Especially since, wow, this is a particularly good play to deal with that. The only Cult Master, he doesn't draw a card. You can only draw the card if the Cult Master, like if there's someone else to die to the Cult Master. Bring pain. 
I'm gonna play the leopard gnome. I think he was just waiting for a lightning storm. I think he's gonna like. I think he's gonna lightning storm now. But I don't mind playing him before the lightning storm because he's just like asking for it anyway. He'll still do his damage, and it makes it look like I have a bigger army that's worth lightning storming. I'd rather get it out, and then I can start replenishing my stuff. Or he may have gotten screwed and not have any lightning storms, as happens in Graft. Ready to ride. Wolf Rider is going to kill something? Going to kill my pint size? No. I mean, that's a totally reasonable choice, too. The other guy does twice as much damage, but I'm happy with my pint size summer. Oh, totem away. It's fine. Defender of Argus? Cool. Now, my first creature is cheaper. It's not actually helping me that much unless I play the Druid of the Claw. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll work on rushing down this guy. So I'll play Cat Form. He's got Charge. Kill that. And bam. 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 Armor up. Kung Fu. Seems like a decent turn. I'm now 10 points ahead. Now my opponent does have more cards because he's cast very few actual spells. But I have four things in play, so... Until he lightning storms is looking kind of good for me. He can lightning storm enough. Even then, if he lightning storms, he's going to take two damage and I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Yeah, okay. So my choices for killing the the shield master, I can hit him for four, which would take a lot of my druid of the claw, and then I could spend two and hit him in the face, which would do one damage to me, take out all my armor. But then I would still have all this army to do stuff. I want to have him still left to hit that and draw a card and kill it. So that would be one option. Another option is I could just star fire him. Oh. Or I can Defender of Argus. If, if I Defender of Argus, I can't do much else. That's the problem. Defender of Argus, Wolf Infiltrator. I don't even know if I want to play the Infiltrator. I am concerned about the Lightning Storm. So, no, I'm... Hmm. If I start a fire, then all I can do is Infiltrator, basically. But then I'll be able to hit my opponent for a ton. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Nice. That's a perfectly good turn. You have a big mitt full of cards there. You only have seven mana to use them with, though, and I've got. I'm not gonna run out of cards myself. This guy played Ancient Watcher? What's he using Ancient Watcher for? Oh, okay, he has a card to give it taunt. He has, like, a bad combo to turn it into a Lord of the Arena, basically. Alright, he's trying to tie me up. Let's see. I honestly cannot possibly resist silencing this. No, wait, if I silence that, it'll it'll be able to attack, because it'll lose its text to stopping it from attacking. Ah. No, I don't want to do it that way. Hold on. I want you to... Oh, I've got an innervate as well. That's pretty good. Okay, so you're going to do two damage to... No, change my mind. I am going to dispel the taunt on that, because I'm just going to kill him this turn. I must safeguard the Sorry about the confusion. My shield for Argus! Three, three, 
You can draw a card from that. But I've got stuff. First. And victory. I still think my druid deck's good. I'm annoyed that I, like, lost a game there with it, but it's bound to happen eventually. And I'll see you next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Act Games for more Hearthstone Arena and Scrolls Judgment videos.